This video is going to talk about how to set up or customize your gradebook settings to best suit your needs. So in Synergy, we're in the gradebook setup uh, category. Uh, so I've already kind of got here to avoid sharing my student information. And so when you get into gradebook setup, this overall gives you everything. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you would want to go over to your gradebook score types. Now, depending on how you our score how you're scoring your or i'm sorry assignment types we're going to go to our assignment types and in our assignment types this is where you can choose what are the things that you want to do so um, the district has a quiz assignment a project test those kinds of things and homework i we do 90 10 practice and assessment and so I set up my own assignment types and I called mine practice and assessment. You can set up your grades. Um, so if you want to add or create more, you can hit this new to add a new type to your assignment type so that you can get that. So you would work with your team, your building administrator, um, your department to figure out what you want to call your assignment types and where they where you want them to be so that you can put them into your into your gradebook settings. Um, all you would do is you would just hit to add a new button uh, that would take you to add an assignment type sequences. Where do you want it to show in your um, in your grading? Um, do you want to have due dates with them and what is the color for it? So you can set all of those up for you. Uh, so then when you go, so if we go back to this and go back over to my gradebook setup tab, once you get here, then once you've created your assignment type, then you can set up and what do you want to do for the weighting? Um, so at my campus, we use a uh, we use a 90 10. Uh, so my assessment is 90 percent. My practice is 10 percent. So it has to equal 100. Um, so if you are using multiple types, you would have to set up what, what you want them to be and you can apply it to all of your following classes. Um, the other thing that you can set up while you're in here is you can change your waiting by grading period. Maybe you have one class that based on for your department or your or team or something like that, that you're not doing a, a weighted average and everything is a straight grade or however you want to get it. You can set it up by class. Um, over here with your assessment or display color, you can change the color of your of your um, of your what you want your grades to show up as this is just for you this is not for the students this is your view only so when you're changing that view you're not changing it for everyone you're just changing it for you so that when you look at so i can tell very easily my all of my homework or practice assignments are this lime green and my assessment grades are this blue color um, you can make yours whatever you want them to be uh, the next thing that we can get into is if you get over into the classroom settings tabs or the class settings tabs, this is where we did all of our setup for the Google Synergy Sync if you were going to do that. But um, where we want to be the last real thing that you can do is gradebook comments. Gradebook comments are a great thing to give to parents or share with parents to let students know how they're doing with something. Now, here's a couple of caveats with this. Um, you can create uh, comments. So if you would hit this uh, new button here, you could make a comment of what you want your comment to be. You could put what your comment is going to be, what the sequence is, just where do you want it to show up in your drop down menu. Um, and then if you would like to have a penalty uh, for it, I would definitely work with your building administrator, especially in our distance learning, remote learning times. Like if you're doing some sort of a late work or a late penalty, would make sure that you run that through your building. Um, not scored value, you can put in here if it if an assignment is not scored, what would the value be for it? Um, does this get the missing mark that goes along with it? What do you want the comment code to be? It's a two letter abbreviation to go with it. And then really the most, and then one of the things that's really important is the remove and score. This is what it, once it is scored. Um, going back to that, show you the codes here that the district already has built in. So the district has um, late, absent, missing, incomplete um, language and extra time. So those are already built into it. One of the things that you can do is if you have the 
Uh, I put in here and edited, so by default, these are not scored values, but a missing assignment gets a not scored value of zero. Unfortunately, when an assignment is missing in Google Classroom and you're using the Synergy Sync, the missing in Google Classroom does not, even if you put the missing on, it does not come in as a not scored assignment. So if you're, I use the Synergy Google Sync, you have to put a zero in to the Google Classroom assignment so that you get a grade for it then it bring it over as a zero into the into the synergy to get the missing assignment to show up but what you want to do here is if you go to edit this for like this missing one what's really good with the missing one and you want to make sure that you have is you have yes the missing mark but you also want to have this remove and scored what this does for you is once the student does turn in the assignment and i score it I don't have to go back in and remove the missing mark. So the missing mark would automatically be put in there when it's scored. Um, so you could do the same thing with your absent mark. So if a student is absent and then they turn the work in, the absent mark will go away as well. So you can do the remove when scored. 